Today we're back in Stewart, Florida, probably best known for its beautiful downtown area and its beautiful beaches, and probably mostly visited for its Marriott Golf Club Resort. But today we're checking out our favorite things to do when we visit Stewart, Florida as a family. All right, here we go. And the first stop on our list is the Stewart Oceanographic Center. Hoping to find some stingrays today. This is a 57 acre marine life nature center, which is dedicated to the education, research, and advocacy of Florida coastal ecosystems. It's undergone some renovations since we were here last. And so there are some new exhibits to explore. Vivian's loving the stuffed animals in the gift shop. Wow. It's a turtle. But we're going to start with our favorite thing to do here, and that is interacting with the stingrays. And the reason is that because on the right day, the crowds are low enough and the pool is small enough that our small children can interact with the stingrays too. Oh, he just hit me. Pierce is not really impressed with the stingray feeding, so I took him out and now he's just going to crawl through the grass until Vivian's done feeding the stingrays. Right next to the stingrays is a touch tank and you can touch some sea urchins, sea cucumbers, and different kinds of crabs. Also under the same pavilion are a number of hands-on activities. Vivian's teaching us how to fish today. She's a professional. Whoa, that's a big fish. Very nice. Some other educational programs include one teaching about the game fish and Florida ecological systems, and another teaching all about sea turtles. Yes, you can feel them. And reptiles also lay eggs. Did you have eggs this morning for breakfast? Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't. Hopefully it's huge. It's the first turtle over there. Now, why is Lily's head big? Because she goes to... Now we're going to head into the brand new Ocean Exhibit Hall. So it's a lot of fun now that Pierce can interact a little bit more and we can put him down and he likes to look at all the different things that we're looking at. But the only downside is that he always crawls the wrong way. I have to go find him. Inside you learn all about Florida's waterways but Vivian's favorite things were seeing the seahorses and the octopus. And Vivian got to go underneath here and take a look at the octopus, but I don't think me or Anthony can fit under there, so I will. And finally, there's also a nature trail and a butterfly garden. There are actually some deals available on Groupon from time to time. We'll place links in the description below. For lunch today, we ate at Southern Pig and Cattle. <laughs> <laughs> this local barbecue restaurant is known for its excellent salad bar. We got the endless salad bar, and Elena got the pulled pork, and I got some sliced pork. Vivian also had soup and salad. We threw in a side order of southern fried okra, then finished the meal with an ice cream cone. Our next stop is the Elliott Museum. We included the Elliott Museum as one of the things to do in Stewart on our previous Stewart, Florida video. But to be completely honest, we've never actually been inside before. And so we wonder what there is for children to do here. They gave Vivian a little scavenger hunt that she can find different things in the museum. So she's excited about that part. First, I found this. Oh, we found the car. Now I have to find the bus. Okay. The Elliott Museum is a history museum that's located on the Florida Treasure Coast. It's home to various forms of Americana, but especially baseball cards. The baseball card display is pretty cool as well. Cars, bicycles, motorcycles, and so much more. There's so many beautiful cars here. 
I think this blue one back here is my favorite. Vivian's gonna drive us in the school bus. The scavenger hunt is definitely a win, and Vivian found something on the scavenger hunt that she's really looking forward to seeing. Apparently, there's a vintage dollhouse around here somewhere. The focal point of the museum has to be this amazing vehicle display. You can name the vehicle that you're interested in seeing, and the attendant program the computer to have the car racking system bring it directly to you. It's like a giant car vending machine. All right, we have not found a dollhouse this far, so we're gonna head up to the second floor. This one reminds me of the Circus Museum at the Ringling in Sarasota, Florida. This area is set up like a historic general store. But the best part is that there's an area where Vivian can play dress up, one of her absolute favorite things to do. This is a really cool giant music box. I love this room. There are so many interesting things in here. Where's the dollhouse? What do you think? Wow. Okay, you can't touch anything though. Right behind the Elliott Museum is a beachside park, and of course there's a playground. But to be honest, we may not be able to stay here for very long because it looks like a storm is rolling in really quickly. According to the weather app, it should just be windy for the next hour. And then after that, it might rain. 